I know there's way too many shows and we can't keep track. Every streaming platform, every broadcast network, everyone is throwing a ton of shows at you and you have no idea what to start with. So from now on, I'm going to tell you all the shows that are coming up every month so you know what to look out for. Ready? Let's dive right in. First up, and this is the show I'm most excited for, is The Cleaning Lady, landing on January 3rd on Vox. The reason I'm so excited is because I absolutely love Elodie Young. She's a phenomenal actress. You might recognize her from season two of Daredevil. She played Elektra in that show and in The Defenders as well. And I love that she's finally going to be the lead of her own show. This looks like a pretty cool thriller. It's basically about a doctor who comes from the Philippines. I believe she's Cambodian. And she finds herself working for the mob and cleaning up their messes in exchange for taking care of her sick son. So it's a cool high concept thriller. It's got Elodie Young, it's got Aidan Canto, you might know him from Designated Survivor. It's got Oliver Hudson, Kate Hudson's brother, that's right. So I'm just pretty pumped for this one. Now of course it's Fox and they've been known to cancel pretty much everything on the face of the earth. So I don't have high hopes that the show is gonna last, but you never know, so fingers crossed. But I'll be reviewing this one in the next two days because I'm super duper excited for this one. Up next, on January 5th, there's Sophia Bush's new show called Good Sam. Now, I'm a huge fan of Sophia Bush. She was in One Tree Hill, she's been in a ton of shows, and I've also really wanted her to be the lead for quite a while. Now, this is a medical show. She plays a doctor who butts heads with her surgeon dad, and uh, that's going to be fun, right? I don't know how much I will last watching another medical show. I watched Grey's Anatomy for 17 years, but I will give it a shot just for Sophia. And hey, you never know, we just might get hooked, right? January 5th, Netflix is also launching Rebelled, which feels like a mix between Glee and Elite. It's Mexican and it's got a musical element to the show. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna be a big hit. Personally, I don't think this is gonna be my style of show, but um, I'll definitely watch the first episode and review it for you guys. On January 7, Netflix is also releasing Hype House. Hype House is basically that house where all the content creators live. Seeing as how I've become quite active on TikTok, I'm intrigued to check out the first few episodes of this one, or maybe just the first episode and then I'll jump off a cliff, who knows. But uh, yeah, you've got that one coming out on January 7th. On January 9th is my second most anticipated show of the month, Pivoting. This one's starring Maggie Q, and it's a dark comedy about death, about three friends who basically come together after the death of their friend. I love Maggie Q ever since Nikita. She was such a good action actress, so I'm really looking forward to seeing her in a comedy role. So this should be a good one. But again, it's on Fox, so who knows how long it'll last. On January 13, HBO Max is launching Peacemaker, starring John Senna, playing the character he played in The Suicide Squad. I know The Suicide Squad was a big flop, but I loved the movie and I thought John Cena was fantastic in it, so I'm super looking forward to this one. It's going to be a nice combination of action, some wittiness, some big spectacle, high hopes. January 18th, and this is probably the most high profile launch of the month, How I Met Your Father on Hulu. Now you all know how I feel about How I Met Your Mother. That was a great show that was robbed of a proper ending thanks to a terrible, terrible, terrible finale. So I don't have high hopes for this. It's starring Hilary Duff. I, of course, will watch it and review it for you guys. But uh, I don't think this one's going to be a hit, honestly. I think there's too much uh, bad will. Is that a thing? Because the show lost all its goodwill with the horrible finale of How I Met Your Mother. All right, on January 24th, HBO is launching one of their prestige dramas, The Gilded Age. There's actually no trailer for this so far. Um, but I love Christine Baranski. She's from The Good Fight, of course. So I'm sure everything HBO does is always, you know, top quality. So I'll definitely give this a shot. January 28th, Apple TV is launching The After Party, starring Tiffany Haddish. It's a mystery thriller with a bit of comedy about a crime and the investigation leading into that. So that should be a light-hearted, fun watch. Apple TV are really killing it over the past year. And on January 28th, we've got two launches from Netflix. We've got In From The Cold, a spy thriller starring Margarita Leviva. Remember her from For Revenge and she was awesome and she deserves to lead her own show. Hopefully it's not a by the numbers spy show and it's actually cool. Second one is called Feria from Netflix Spain. It looks like a typical chosen one show. Not terribly exciting, but I'll give it a shot. So thank you guys. I hope this was helpful. Stay tuned for every month. I'll always tell you what shows are coming up so you know what to watch out for. Tell me which ones you're most excited to see this month. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get the newest videos straight to you.